we all accept the fact that our bodies don't work unless they're hydrated, that an animal's body doesn't work, that a plant doesn't work unless it's hydrated, and we totally ignore the fact that the body of land we walk on carrying around our water bottles is dehydrated, severely dehydrated in so much of this planet. We've been subscription farmers for heavily, for I'd say the last, last 25, 30 years, very, very heavily prescription farmers. I've, I've really noticed probably the last 10 years, you know, we've run into, we've probably hit a brick wall. Biological farming involves balancing the microbes in the soil and remineralizing the soil so that microbes have a basis of delivering nutrients into the plant. You have to, you have to radically, you know, change. You, have, you, have, you change, your, change your ways and, uh, and you have to do it, do it in a big way. Actually, you do see straight up, you see the, the, the water retention that you do keep, that critical part of the year around here in, you know, October, we you know the rain's coming out late September, October. You've still got moisture in the soil where, the, where, where your trial plots that you haven't treated, um, they're dry. He's started on this biological fertiliser and I've just been noticing the difference between what I do and what he does. Um, we seem to be running out of moisture right at the very end of the year, like at harvest time we need another inch of rain, we don't get it. His crops uh, seem to hang on better than our crops do. Soil structure even looks better, like you get your hands in the dirt, the, the dirt just looks healthier. The ground's just it's chalk and cheese between the two different paddocks and they're only a road between them so there's no real soil difference, it's just the biological stuff that he sprays on, which I don't really know what is or know nothing about, it just seems to be doing a fantastic job. And I'm going to try start starting to use it this year for the first year. We found that farmers are increasingly coming towards a biological uh, liquid fertiliser, particularly in this part of the world where we're seeing more and more years affected by drought. Our farmers are, are realising the fact that they need to focus on their soil health and particularly the fact that healthy soils can play a real good part in uh, reducing the effects of drought through holding greater amounts of moisture in the soil if they're properly managed. The uh, soil carbon levels went up on average 1.4 per cent in that first year and to put that back into perspective a 1.4 per cent increase in soil carbon led to the soil being able to retain about an extra 220,000 litres of water per hectare.